What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. It's down there. It's right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G E E K O Y Amanda. Same on Twitter. And it's Crazy Amanda X on TikTok too. And it's time to get this movie review started. Let's go. The new Sonic movie is coming out tomorrow. Actually, tonight we will get some uh, screenings. Uh, and I got to see a sneak peek of it weeks ago. Out in LA, I went to the Sonic Press Junket where I interviewed some of the stars. I interviewed Jim Carrey and James Marsden and Ben Schwartz who, who plays the voice of Sonic, James Carrey who plays Robotnik, and Jim Marsh who plays Sonic's friend, Tom. And I'm gonna tell y'all, I enjoyed it. I extremely enjoyed so it. So we have the new redesign, which was even brought up during the interview. Jim Carrey had brought it up about how the fans weren't happy. I wasn't happy. I don't think anybody I talked to was happy. But it was nice how the director addressed those and said, you know, he was. they were happy to do the remake. This movie, they wanted to please the fans. It's about the fans. They wanted it to be enjoyable for the fans. So they were happy to do the relook of him, the redesign of Sonic, and I think it really paid. I wrote a post, it's linked down below, pinned in the comments, but it talks about the gamer's perspective of the Sonic movie. I was a gamer back in the day, but back before they got too many buttons on the remote, <laughs> you know, I had a Sega Genesis and I would play Sonic all the time. That was one of my favorite games. So to see this Sonic movie come into life, I was excited about it. You can definitely tell that this game was made not only for to be enjoyable for the kids, which it was, not only be enjoyable for the adults, but also things, you know, they put in a lot of things for the fans, for the fans to enjoy. So let's talk about some of the different nods in the movie to the Sonic video game. Well, you know, if you were a Sonic player, one of the stages was Green Hill Zone in the Sonic game which they totally brought that up. What, you know, Sonic starts out, he's in his world, but he has to escape through the he rings. He uses the rings to kind of hop through different dimensions and, and different worlds and he has to escape through a ring because people were after him for a supersonic sonic speed. Some baddies were after him to get a supersonic speed. So he actually jumps into another world here in the Earth, the Earth world, and he lands in a place called Green Hills, which I'm saying it was totally a nod to one of the stages in the game, Green Hills. Now, there are going to be some moments in the movie that gamers are going to love, like when Sonic finally gets his iconic red and white shoes. Uh, you're going to cheer. You're going to cheer. You're going to love it. Even when you see Jim Carrey wearing his classic Dr. Robotnik outfit, I tell you, this audience went crazy. And of course, the end credit scene, which we're not going to talk about. I'm not going to give spoilers. I'm sure on the internet you have seen it. But the end credit scene, you want to stay around for it because I screamed. I think I, I screamed so loud, I didn't even hear the other people in the audience. It totally makes you think, yeah, there's going to be another Sonic movie. Let's cross our fingers. One of the this. things gamers might not be happy about is the look of Sonic. Maybe. I mean, we talked about, you know, Sonic totally got a new redesign, which made him look more like the game. But there's still little pieces that they left out. Like now he has like the blue fur on his arms, which he didn't have before. Not a big deal to me. I think the biggest thing people might have a problem with is his powers in this. I mean, there was he never had these electric kind of powers that he had in the video game that they have in the movie. But I think it doesn't take away from the character and it adds it adds to the movie and gives it a nice little twist. You know, when the game first came out, they were never thinking of it to be any kind of movie, I'm sure. You know, it was just a fun little video game. It was never, it never really had a backstory or plot. And I think, you know, this movie does a great job of giving it a backstory and, and giving it a plot and, and showing different things that Sonic can they do. They also show his personality and his softness and cuteness. And, and when he comes to, you know, the earth, he's lonely and he watches everyone and, and he doesn't want to get seen because if he gets seen, he's going to have to jump through one of the rings and go somewhere else. He has to stay in hiding. It's a lonely world for him and, and you see that loneliness and you feel for Sonic and he becomes, you know, just a little character that you're rooting for the whole time. But all in all, I give this movie a 9 out of 10. I did. I think it was one that kids are going to love. 
of a hundred percent the kids are gonna love it your teens are gonna love it the adults are gonna love it my husband loved it who is mr. movie snob but he loved it and he's a especially when it comes to games like he's a big gamer big gamer then big gamer now and he enjoyed the go film. see it this weekend let me know what you think comments thumbs all that until next time